The Pigs welcoming the Rochester Red Wings to town for the second time this season. Lehigh Valley claiming five of the first six meetings to open their 2021 campaign. Rochester was coming off a series in Worcester where they combined to hit 16 home runs and score 56 runs. This a scoreless game, however, through three innings before the visitors would break through in the top of the fourth. Jake Knoll leading off with a home run to left field, his third of the season, part of a five-game hitting streak to put the Red Wings up one. Next batter is Brandon Snyder. He delivers the same result against Matt Moore, making his third rehab start. The solo shot fired over the right field wall this time, providing a nice little souvenir for a Pigs fan. Snyder, an impressive 11 of 25 over a stretch of five games, giving the Red Wings a 2-0 lead. Pigs respond in the bottom of the fourth. Scott Kingery skies a one-out double off the wall in right field, his second of the season. Nick Maton brings him home with an RBI single up the middle, cutting the deficit to just one run for Lehigh Valley. Mauricio Yovera retires all three batters in the fifth inning, allowing the offense to tack on two more in the bottom of the frame. Pinch hitter Derek Hall doubles to right center, scoring Rafael Marchand from third and Ruben Tejada from second as the Pigs take their first lead up three to two. The bullpen was big in this one after Yovera. Juan Garcia would toss two and two thirds scoreless innings in relief before Austin Listy added some insurance from the plate with his first home run this season. Only the 20th for the Pigs in 31 games played, making it a 4-2 advantage. And that's how this one would end. David Paul Lino earning the save for Lehigh Valley, his second this season, the 10th for the team. In total, the Pigs pen throws five and one-third scoreless innings, allowing just two hits and securing that 4-2 victory. Lehigh Valley has now won three of its last four, and according to Gary Jones, the total team effort has been most pleasing from his perspective. We've got a young team here, and, uh, you know, at this level, that's, that's pretty good for from an organizational standpoint, I mean, you look around, in most positions we have guys that come through this organization, was drafted by this organization or traded. It's, it's been probably been a learning experience too for, for some of these guys. And when I say young team, I mean, I'm just talking about not necessarily age-wise, but just playing-wise, you know, baseball-wise. And, uh, but, uh, you know, the guys going out playing hard every day, man, and, and uh, they coming in and we're having fun. Guys are having fun in the locker room, having fun on the field. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll just continue to get better and better as not only as, as individuals, but as a team as we move forward.